the sideline. To center field for Mateo. The ball is singing now. Seven to follow. Terry Evans still makes the pad. Still on the score for Manly. Well, Tony, that Brett Stewart try in the Canberra Manly match, can you explain the ruling around that? Yeah, the ruling is this, an attacking player who's in front of the play the ball, he must retreat or retire to be in line with his uh, teammate who's playing the ball. After viewing the footage, including the eagle cam, Brett Stewart does retreat. He retreats back to a point of the ruck area between the marker and where George Tafua plays the ball. This was a judgment call made by the uh, referees live. It's a close decision, particularly when Tafua moves forward after the play the ball to be in front of Stewart. However, Stewart does not retreat the required distance. Okay, now let's talk about contact on kickers. There was a couple of instances over the weekend on Aidan Caesar and Jonathan Thurston. Can you just explain um, the ruling around the tackle on the kicker? Yeah, I understand this. We've been very vigilant in this area. Uh, in relation to a, uh, a contact on a kicker, uh, the defender has to make a genuine attempt to tackle. The tackle can't be late high or dangerous. So uh, the referees have penalised this consistently throughout the season and for the most serious ones these players have been suspended for that sort of uh, uh, contact on kickers. So it's an area that we need to continue to be vi vigilant on and we will be. Can you give us a couple of examples of what's okay and what's not okay? Yeah, I'll show you an example here from last week where there was some contact on Jonathan Thurston in the Cronulla game. Uh, the player was penalised and placed on report and subsequently suspended. Here's an example of where it is an illegal contact by uh, the uh, defender on the kicker. Okay, let's talk about this Brett Morris try in the second half of the Bulldogs-Titans match. Yeah, there's a uh, pass from dummy half um, from the Canberra player Mumbai and it goes, uh, one angle suggests that the pass goes forward, the eagle cam suggests that the ball is flat. Now what I expect is the officials are in good position to rule on that, which they did on this occasion. There will always be debate around these types of passes, but as I said, I expect the officials to be in good position and they were. Now Tony, in the Tigers-Knights match, the Jake Mamo contact on Pat Richards, should that have been an eight-point try? Yeah, in relation to this uh, incident, uh, I don't believe it should have been an eight-point try. Uh, last week I spoke about an incident uh, involving Lachlan Coop, and that certainly should have been. Uh, the, the contact there is much higher and uh, much more dangerous. In relation to this, there is some contact. Uh, it contacts on the low part of the body, and uh, in those circumstances, I don't think it's appropriate for an eight-point try. And finally, in the same match, um, the Tarek Sims bat back. Yeah, in relation to that, it was a live decision of try, uh, and they reviewed a knock-on. Uh, the ball is propelled backwards. It comes off the forearm and goes backwards across the ground. In those circumstances, it was uh, appropriate to uh, confirm the try, which they did, correct decision. Well, thanks for joining us, Tony. No problems.